Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Tip Tricks and Tech. Today we're going to do a video on our newest miner, which is S19 Pro 110 terahash. Okay, this one is used one. I bought it from btminers.com. Uh, I'll put the link uh, for you in my description if you want to buy one. Uh, so I haven't bought a used one yet, so I bought a two brand new ones, but this is my used one. So let's check it out how good this thing or if it's gonna work or not. It came straight from China. I didn't have to pay any uh, import tax mm -hmm. or anything like that. I guess it's, it's used, uh, they, you know, they had to pay. So let's open the box and find out what's inside and how the shape is, okay? So let's go, check it out. Okay, I already cut the tape off, so let's open the box from here. So they're nicely packed, so there's a nice form. So let's take this out. I'm gonna take this miner out. This is our miner. So this is our front. This is how it looks. It's a decent size, uh, decent shape, a little dust here and there. I mean, this thing came out uh, uh, last year in September. So, you know, if you look at it, it's 110 S19 Pro, 110 Terahash by Ant Miner, okay? And, uh, Little dust down here, I guess they put some uh, labels or stickers, so that's it. But this side, no looking back. Uh, I mean, you know, it's in a decent shape. But uh, to run this thing, you need a two, well, that they don't send it with. You need an ethernet cable. Also, you need a PDU or power supply. So if you look in the back, there's two power supply here. Each need 220 volt each. Uh, so I'm gonna use a PDU, which I'm gonna connect to my uh, NEMA uh, 1420P, uh, and also have a PDU, so which can go straight in right here, okay? Uh, so I have two connections, goes just like this, and this goes to my uh, outlet, which I'm gonna show you next. So let's plug in, let's plug in this to my internet, then after that, I will turn it on, then we'll do things in the computer, okay? Okay, so this is my setup look like. I have my uh, main circuit breaker and I wired it to a NEMA 1450P. Uh, so then it comes straight to the PDU. And from PDU, I have about uh, one, two, three, uh, about uh, seven outlet, actually eight outlet. There's one here. Then from that, I got two oh, C13 to C14 wired which goes straight back in here. And another one, like I said, ethernet cable, that goes come here and it goes straight to my switch. I have a switch right here, ethernet uh, switch. So that's how uh, I connect it. Because uh, I showed you before I turn it on, because once I turn it on, it's gonna make a lot of noise. So, which I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna turn on my uh, breaker, which is mine right here. Don't turn it on, you will hear. So, you hear that? So it just turn on. So that's it. Going to be your intake. It's going to be a source fan right here. Okay. Now we're going to connect to the IP and we're gonna check it from here. So that's the noise you get here. You hear like a little noisy, noisy. That's the noise you're gonna hear. This is now it's cold. Once you start mining you will have a little hot air coming. Now it's pretty cold, okay? So now we're gonna set the IP address of this machine first. Okay, to get your IP address of the machine, so what you have to do is you have to go to Bitmain and you have to download this IP reporter uh, SIP. And uh, once you download that, then I'm gonna open my download folder. So it's right here, it's open. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna run it. Once you run it, you're gonna click start. Once you click start, you're going to go to the machine and you're gonna click the button there for five seconds, which I'm gonna show you now. So this is the button right here. You're gonna push and hold it for five seconds, which is one, two, three, four, five. Then let's check out on the computer. Okay, once you hit that, the IP address should pop up here. Uh, but also, I have uh, something in my phone. If you look at my previous video, 
then I have something, uh, the router I have is Orbi. So I have an Orbi app right here. And if you look at my devices, I have all the devices here. And I'm gonna check, see right here, Antminer. That's what Antminer I have right there. So I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna get my IP address right here. This is my IP address, 192.168.1.57. So it's gonna be different for everyone. So that's what I'm gonna type in. So let's type in that address on the address menu. Okay. Two dot, uh, 168.1.57 you're just gonna end. okay so it's gonna ask you for a password you're gonna put root and the password is root okay so this is my uh, minus dashboard minus setting go to, uh, let's go to my minus setting I'm gonna put my uh, uh, pool address and everything for that I signed up for uh, f2 polls so Let's go to f2pool.com. So I'm gonna sign in. So I logged into my account and then once you come here, then you go to worker. Then here you can create a new group. I already created a new group, uh, which is the name is X19, uh, 110, uh, in it. I just put it like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy your URL number right here. You're gonna copy from each so you copy that and you're gonna put here you're gonna paste that then you're gonna come here you're gonna copy the second one copy you copy then you're gonna paste it here okay then you're gonna come again you got the pool tree you're gonna copy that copy you're gonna come here you're gonna Put it here, paste here. Now, minor name. So, minor name, what do you have? That's your worker. Um, you can put that. So, I'm just gonna copy that. Now, the next one is password, which we're gonna go here. You're gonna check the password. This is the password they give us. So we're just gonna copy that. Just gonna copy your password. You're gonna go and minor. We're gonna put password in each place. We're just gonna copy in each place. Then that's all we need. Fan speed, we're just gonna keep it 100%. Uh, and it's gonna be cold here, but uh, you know, just for now, we're just gonna uh, keep it there. I'm just gonna save it. I'm gonna click save. It's saving right now. So it's gonna take uh, some time to communicate with the miner, and then uh, we're gonna hear some sound difference from the miner, and uh, it's okay. It's saved. So now let's wait for the dashboard. We go to the dashboard. Okay. Hash rate is abnormal. Network status is fine. Fan speed is normal. Temperature is normal. So. Once uh, in a little bit, this hash rate is gonna change. So we'll just wait for that. Okay, see, now the hash rate changed to normal. So that means our uh, miners start working, start mining. So these are my pools. One is a normal pool right here, but that's okay. We have two pool connections. Uh, one uh, pool, see, that turned to normal within a couple of seconds. So uh, everything looked normal. Chip uh, state, that's just uh, normal right here. That's just uh, for right now. Uh, but uh, it's gonna get uh, cleared out. Uh, okay, so now here, it's actually start mining. Uh, real hash rate is 87, 67.5 GHz. Uh, it's gonna come up. Uh, it's gonna take some time, but uh, that's all. Uh, this is how it's gonna run, okay? Okay, so that's it, my friends. Right now, our uh, miner is working. Actually, it's giving us more than what it's supposed to. Actually, it's 110 uh, terahertz, uh, but we, the, we we are getting right now 114 terahertz, which is awesome. Uh, I mean, you know, so, uh, which is really good. And if you look at our pool status, pool connection status is all normal, absolutely good. And look at the chip state before it was red, and right now everything is normal. And fan speed is on uh, 5,040 RPM on a fan three, fan four, uh, fan three is running a little faster, uh, which is okay. And I can hear the sound from a miner. It, it uh, changed it, uh, in, it's kind of running hard. 
And if you come to my, now you can go to our uh, pool. And if you look at my pool, this is my uh, pool home. And uh, if you look at uh, my miner right now running, uh, let's check it out. Uh, okay, let's go to worker. So right now we're getting 79.97 terahash uh, at this time. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna go up and down, but uh, for last 15 minutes, we got 79.97 terahash, uh, which is awesome. Uh, we're gonna keep it uh, running for all night and then I'm gonna show you uh, how this thing uh, did uh, for uh, like for last, I would say for a couple of hours and then for 24 hours. So uh, this is my running for last uh, uh, 15 minutes and like that. So guys, it's uh, it's uh, running and it's making money. So that's what it is. Okay. So guys, uh, so let's check out our uh, last uh, almost 12 hours. Uh, if you look at it, even though it says 14 hours, uh, I would say about uh, 13 hours. And uh, because, you know, it took like half an hour uh, to uh, actually program it. So if you look at the average, it's about uh, uh, 111 uh, terahash per second, uh, which is what we expecting because our, uh, our uh, you know, um, minor is 110 so you know it's go up and down uh, so that's what we expecting now if you come to our uh, 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 like pool settings if you look at our pool so let's go to worker uh, and uh, let's check it out so this is my worker so our 15 minutes hash rate is 121 it's about than we expecting but you know that change and 20 hour, 24 hours 66 it's only 13 hours so that means we can be expecting about 110 to 120 hash rate per 24 hours so uh, that's what our uh, uh, hash rate is so it's holding up really good and rejection rate is 0.07 percent which is very normal uh, that's not a problem and if you come to revenue so look at our total revenue it started about 3402 uh, so that's a pretty pretty good revenue and uh, let me see if i can do a calculator and i can show you how much uh, it's uh, worth Okay, we got our uh, calculator ready. So it's at uh, three zeros and 3,402. So let's do our calculator and uh, let's do point three zero three thousand. Let's do 50 times. Uh, right now, Bitcoin price is about 37,000. So let's try that. 37,000, which is about $11.25 uh, before uh, we take in electric cost. I would say electric cost is about uh, $5. So I made about $6 for 12 hours. So I'm expecting about uh, 12 to $15 at the price of uh, 37,000 of Bitcoin. But think about it, the Bitcoin price can go up. Uh, so that means uh, our price of revenue will go up. So I'll give you one more update uh, before I uh, tell you the last comment. Um, uh, in 12, 24 hours. So right now it's about uh, uh, 13 hours running. So I'll give you 24 hours update, okay? Guys, let me give you a 24 hour update right now. So it's been running uh, for uh, 24 hours right now. So uh, let's look at the worker, okay? And uh, this is our worker. So let's go here. So here, look at it, uh, 24 hour hash rate is 111.78. That's what we expecting. Rejection rate is 0 0.09, which is okay. So if you look in the bottom, uh, pretty much uh, keeping, you know, around, you know, sometimes it goes up to uh, 128 and come down to 94, but average uh, hash rate is uh, 111, which is really good. And when it comes to revenue, uh, let's check out the revenue, okay. All right, so yesterday's uh, income is 0 0.00045858. That's a revenue that I got it for yesterday. Uh, I would say 24 hours revenue, right? So let's calculate it. Uh, so with uh, one, two, three, four, five, eight, five, eight times 37, that's what we calculated yesterday with so 37,000 for Bitcoin gives you almost uh, $17 and out of $17 I will be paying about $7 for the uh, electricity cost um, daily so I'll be getting a uh, $10 per day 
that's like uh, three hundred dollars uh, per uh, month. That's a profit right now with the thirty-seven thousand dollars. But one thing which I gotta mention is, you know, uh, look at the performance of this thing. Uh, really good. I'm, 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 I'm you know, like uh, I wasn't expecting for a used machine. I would say it's about a year old. I wasn't expecting I would get this uh, 111 uh, tar hash, uh, which I'm surprised. So uh, that's really a good thing. So thanks for watching my video. And uh, if you want to buy a miner, it's a used one, but that's I, I paid about eleven thousand uh, dollars and uh, seven hundred bucks. Uh, that's what I paid, almost twelve thousand dollars. And uh, it came in let's say six days or seven days. It came actually from China. I was kind of skeptical that it was gonna work or you're gonna you know spend that much money. But BT Mines are a really good company. They tested before they send it, so which is good. And uh, actually, if you look at my uh, mining status and everything, I'm uh, so happy with it and it's working fine. Actually, the sound from my uh, new miner, which I got it, it's actually lower than the old miner, the 104, uh, 104 uh, Pro, uh, you know, Terahash one I had. So compared to that, it's it's kind of quiet. Um, which is um, which kind of surprised me, but anyway, I'm gonna give you an update uh, uh, in a, in a day, or I'm gonna give you another video. I'm gonna do another video in a week or so. I'm gonna give you a full update uh, of that. Okay, so for that, wait for me. And uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please consider subscribing. I'll be coming with another video soon. Till then, it's me, Aldous, and Itus. Yeah. Yes. Bye. Bye. bye.